Hello everyone and welcome back to Demon Souls! Now if you remember the last time around we kind of went through this whole little castle kind of area. Led us up to this uh, beautiful... I want to know who did the interior design for this. I would love to have like this magical wall just right in my fucking living room, you know? Anyways, so we're about to go fight Phalanx and if you remember I expressed before Make sure that you have plenty of fire bombs for him because he's very susceptible to them. And I understand in the last episode I kind of used a lot of them because I got a little angry. I got a little frustrated and, you know, just kind of acted out of the heat of the moment. And as you can see, I went and collected more souls because before recording this, you know, I jumped back into the level here and all the enemies were respawned. So I kind of went through the level again just to get my soul count up so that way we can level up some after we do this. Anyways, here we go! Alright. Yeah, as you can see, he's just completely encumbered and protected by all those fucking blob things. So, what we're going to want to do is say fuck you, fire. Critical hit! It wasn't very effective. Come on. There we go. Because we just want to get them down as much as we possibly can. So we're just, yeah, we're just going to throw this shit. Come on. That's right. Okay. You got me good, Jim. You got me good. Because once we get them out of the way, we can just fucking melee his ass and bring him down. Because Phalanx himself doesn't really have much of his own attack. I mean, literally just these little blobby things are it. Okay, I'm going to want to heal up a little bit. Yeah, make sure you bring plenty of fucking ass grass to sniff. Alright, here we go. Just get in there, start. Oh my god, my stamina. That's going to be one of the first things I'm going to want to increase once we level up. So, more fire bombs, since, you know, use them if you got them. Alright, used all those up, might as well just, oh, don't you run away from me. Don't fucking run away from your feelings. I know you love me, you filthy whore. There we go, he's almost dead, not even worried. And just one more chop. Aha! Oh. And that's how we save the world. You revived. Oh, yeah, now I'm human again. Got full life bar and shit. We're gonna want to collect those. We can use those to upgrade our weapons, our shield and shit. Cool. So that's how you beat Phalanx. Rather quickly, I might add. And then what we're gonna want to do, and I'll explain this in a minute. The Demon Soul, blah, blah. Yes, I want to go back to the Nexus. That's where we get cookies and shit. Metamorphosis. Blah 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 blah. But yeah, basically what we're gonna want to do after we get done in here, and don't worry, I'll cut the majority of this out because I don't think you guys want to watch me go through the same exact shit all over again. But now that we've cleared that place, those dragons will be gone. What that means for us, and I will show you this part when we get to it, is. There's a lot of extra loot and shit that we can go grab. And also, I do recommend just playing through that first level a couple times, get your soul count up, upgrade and shit, because the game only gets harder from here. I mean, they may as well have just let this first level here bend the tutorial compared to what we're about to go up against and shit. Yes, it's a very beautiful palace. Oh, also, I'll explain, um, you know, no, I'll get to that later, never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Anyways, so, this is the guy that you want to talk to about weapons and shit, we're going to want to repair, my bastard sword, let's see, do I even, I didn't think so, and then we'll upgrade it, right, no, I don't have enough, uh, hard stones, so, we'll wait for that. I will. I love you too, asshole. That's my grandpa. He's my babe. Alright. 
Now, if you remember from the first episode, there was a little area I was trying to get into that I couldn't. But now that we've cleared the level, I can. There it is. And there's going to be other little bonuses and secrets up here too. Which you guys are definitely going to want to grab if you don't want to stay in, you know, soul form for too long or anything like that. Uh, what we got to do is keep going down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Stone of Imperial Lies, and that basically it restores your humanity after you get killed. So you're definitely going to want to keep an eye out for those. Oh shit, keep an eye out for the Imperial Stones. I made a pun and didn't even try. Didn't even realize it. I'm a master of commodity and stuff. Alright, but basically where this blood... Yeah, we're going to want to talk to this person... But that's going to give us a long, drawn-out cutscene. So before we do that, I'll show you where to find another little bonus. Okay. Just got to keep going. Yes, I want to go in there. Why would I not? Let's see. I think it's over this way. Could be wrong. But there is another Stone of Imperial Eyes up here, too. Um, I don't think it's down there. I want to say it's actually over here. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I knew it. So, now we go back to the little area where we got to talk to the monk person because they are all knowing and wise and powerful. And then. And then we will join the dark side. I'm just kidding. I haven't chosen which way I want to go with this yet. Um, I think I keep going down here. Wait. I don't think I've ever explored over here. Oh, never mind. This is where we need to be. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. It's been a long week. I've been sick as hell lately. Yes, I am the Slayer of Demons. They call me... Kunta Kinte. Really? Are we going to get a prequel game of that? Oh my. I apologize everyone because I do not have... I don't have the patience for a cutscene right now. Plus I've already played this game before so... I just don't feel like doing it right now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, whatever. Sure. I accept your challenge, little bald woman with no legs. Okay. Well, that makes the plot and objective of this game extremely clear now, doesn't it? Now whenever people ask you, what are these games about? Well, you can tell them. It's about slaying demons and saving the world. Or becoming a demon and taking over the world. Your choice. Okay. And now that we've talked to that person, got the cutscene out of the way, we can go talk to my, uh, my future ex-wife here. And we can level up a bit. First, what we're going to want... Oh, no, I don't want to write another message. I've been doing that, like, all day. Let's see. Equipment. Come on, do. Oh. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Inventory is what we want. Go down. Lead Demon Souls. And you don't really get anything good from keeping Phalanx's soul, so you might as well just use it. Get your soul count up, because that gives you more shit to spend. And then we're gonna level up. Cool. Do, 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 do. Talk to me, fam maiden. Yes, I want all of the power. The power is yours! 
I have the power! Alright, I want enough soul power to become a fucking super sa- Oh shit, wrong game. My bad. Let's see. Endurance... is definitely one of the biggest ones to upgrade. Just spend it all. Let's see. Give me strength beyond strength. Let's see, we're not gonna have enough to upgrade any further. Wait, yeah, we can do one more. Let's see, well, I don't use magic, so I don't need that. Um, I feel like that could be helpful. So let's do it. All right. Yes. Shush. Just. You say it best when you say nothing at all, baby. Alright, so now we're going to go back to level 1. We're going to start from the beginning here. And I'll explain why momentarily. But first, I'm just going to skip through the first part of me just killing through shit. Because again, I don't want to bore you guys. So, I will continue this momentarily. Alright guys, welcome back. Now... Here we are, as you can see, this is where the dragons were chilling out before, but now they're all gone. And as you can see over in the distance there, there's some nice, pretty, glowing orbs we can go collect. And that's just what we're going to do, and that's the whole reason we're going through this again. Well, besides, again, rega regaining more souls and shit. Because, well, they're kind of nice, and, you know, they're kind of necessary for, you know, advancing your character through the game, so... It really adds a lot of replayability and, you know, keeps you going. Gives a nice, you know, true RPG kind of feeling of boring you by bringing you through all the exact same shit. Now, before I go get all the shit on top there, I'm just going to go get these ones. And, you know, there's something I just got to kind of express real quick. And, you know, I'm not saying this as if it's a bad thing, but it's just, it feels kind of weird, you know, doing a Let's Play by myself without a, uh, a co-host, you know, I just, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm all by myself. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out of my system. I hope it brought some giggle squeaks to your life. Anyways, so we're going to go up here and get more shit. A lot of healing items, which is good. Definitely need those in your life. Renown, yay, more souls. Oh. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, a purple flame shield. Can't quite use it yet. I'm not strong enough, but that will definitely help us out a lot more in the long run. Ring of great strength. All right, well, let's see. Okay, I'm paranoid. You know, God forbid. I don't know if the dragons will just come back out of nowhere because developers like to troll people or not, so. Let me go in here. Check my equipment. Um, I don't really need the thieves ring. Let's see. I can be resistant to flames or I can raise my maximum equip burden. Which I think since my character is a total brute might actually be really helpful. Although he doesn't really have any armor or anything that he needs. Uh, yeah. Still limits my ability with the sword so that's kind of useless. So, we'll just become more resistant to fire! Alright, so that's basically, you know, the whole reason for coming back here. But I'll show you guys something else here. Because if you remember in the last episode, um, the guy on the level I tried to save, you know, he gave you a telescope. And, you know, if you help him out more in the game, you know, he plays a little bit more, a bit more of a role to the plot here. Anyways, after he died, you guys remember I got a key, right? Well, the door that that key opens is actually on the first level here, and it's actually back near the beginning. Which, thank God I've already cleared everything out, because I don't feel like fighting through all this shit right now. But anyways, I will show you where the door is, which 
I'm not going to do this time around. It'll probably be a little bit further in the game before I come back to do that. Just, uh, I can't explain. I'll wait till I get there and then I'll show you. Which, you know, we're almost there anyway. So, if you guys remember, this is where you come up top from the first part through the castle. And there's this little room back here. So, just pack this little room. There's a corridor. And you see that motherfucker? That is the very epitome of rape, is what he is, and he's guarding that door which the key unlocks. But, yeah, we're not facing him right now because he is Michael Slenderman Jackson on steroids mixed with fucking Mike Tyson strength brutality is basically level of difficulty that motherfucker is on. Which we're not just not going to um, we're not going to mess with that. Right, if you guys want to when you try it out go ahead. But I mean take it with a grain of salt and not take him lightly because he yeah he's fucking relentless. But also there's another part of this first world here which you can access and get more shit from. But again you might want to wait a little bit before you try for it. I mean, I could probably get through it decently for the most part, but that's right down there. Uh, and plenty of little bonuses and stuff for you, which if you want to go for them, go for them. But um, the level of difficulty with the enemies there is rather, it's slightly horrendous. And you see another area over here. Let me get up here. There's a doorway. And just past there is basically another mini boss whom I can't remember her name but you see him you see her a lot in some of the loading screens and shit but um yeah just another very tough enemy that you gotta fight you know and but otherwise there's there's always more to explore is basically what I'm getting at so we're gonna go back to the Nexus because well what I'm going to explain to you guys real quick is the second part of the game you're going to want to go to is not actually in the first world. In fact, I think, let's see, one, two, three, it's actually the fourth level here. Which, actually, I could be wrong. Um, no, we don't want to go to the Tower Queen. That, that'll that fuck your whole day. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of time on this video anyway, so we will continue, you know, next time around here. We'll definitely do some more shit. But that's basically, you know, all the basics you're going to want to see to get through the first part of the game. You know, make sure you do your level ups wisely, choose your character wisely, and also, most importantly, pick your battles wisely. Because, like I said, it only starts going more downhill from here at this point. So... Just have fun with the game, and I'll see you guys next time.